Very well, Council. We resume. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable you. Commissioners. Uh, Mr. Samba, before I move away from Kairaba, uh, Mr. Sonko tendered a, bunch of, <clears throat> a bundle of documents, MS-102, which are correspondence between um, Karafi and so, Emir Karafi and Sons and their solicitor. Um, you are mentioned, according to Mr. Sonko, did Mr. Samba mention in um, a fax dated 2nd August 2004 is yourself. And I would like to draw your attention to paragraph 4 on that fax. Um, this is a fax from um, Mr. Walde Mikael Mikwet, Mikwel, I, I hope I pronounced it right, to one Mr. M. Shehara um, concerning fees. But what concerns, what we would like you to explain is paragraph 4 which states also it is to be borne in mind that Mr. Samba has already been defeated in that he has been forced to accept by a higher authority that the stock is included in the sale price of 10 million, a fact that he did not approve of at all. If you have any reaction to this. I do. Yes, please, say so. Actually, uh, earlier on... Can you, I... can you show these exhibits to the witness, please? It's MS-102, and he's being referred to the facts dated 2nd August 
Are you referring to the uh, facts? Please? I'm referring to the facts and the fourth paragraph of the facts, which, which according to the witness, means, mentions you. And he was proffering that facts to explain or to further buttress, I, I, I presume, his evidence that you were involved in the transaction. If you would read that fact, particularly paragraph four of the facts. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. Uh, very well. Do you have anything to say about? I do. Yes, please go ahead. Um, I think during the course of my testimony, I touched on, on it when I mentioned the fact that uh, Robert Aswanden uh, used to consult me on certain occasions. This was one of the cases in point. When they were about to sell the hotel, Robert called me on two things. One is the stock, and the other one is the mortgage, is the, uh, the fact that the hotel was owing Standard Chartered Bank. In this particular one, Robert asked me, he said that from his experience, he knows that normally when a hotel is being sold, the stock would not be part of the sale. And he sought my opinion, and I concurred with him. I gave him comfort by telling him that I think you are right. They, I maybe discovered that Robert took his stance, and they interpreted it to mean that I am the one talking to the president. <coughs> like I said before, I have never discussed Kairaba hotel sales with the president. In fact, there was never a single occasion where I discussed Kairaba hotel with the president. He is always keeping me in the dark. I was, even when they bought the hotel, we never discussed it. There are certain transactions the president entered into, he will never discuss it with me. Right. He will no. never discuss it with me. Okay, now that paragraph seems to suggest, I'm just giving you an op opportunity to reply to that, seems to suggest that you were in discussions with Emir Karafi and Sons as regards the stock. I'd like you to answer whether, or to clarify. No, so. I was... I was never in discussion with M.A. Harafi. My discussion was with Robert. I have can never met the Harafi people. Can you Even Boto, I have never discussed Kairaba sales with him. Please correct the exhibits. Unless you have any questions, Commissioners, I will move on. Thank you. Um, Mr. Samba, just one question, please. Um, could you explain to this Commission why um, Mr. Momodo Lamin Sonko, known as Butter, would mention your involvement in the Kairaba Beach sale transaction, which you've mentioned several times that it's not true what was said. We just want to understand why this is the case. This is the question I'm asking myself. This is the question I'm asking myself because I cannot see any link absolutely. I cannot see it because I've never sat with him to discuss about Kairaba. He just came all of a sudden. Maybe he was panicked when they t t spoke about Kairaba, knowing that maybe his hands were not clean, so he thought he can use me as a scapegoat because I cannot see any reasoning in this. Okay, they fell out with my sister because they refused to pay the fees. My sister started this transaction. And when, when she drafted the agreement, they used the same agreement I mean, uh, it's like verbatim, because my sister showed me the drafts she prepared for them. And when you compare it with the, uh, uh, the, 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 the sale agreement, it's verbatim. And uh, maybe it's the grudge or it's the problem she had with my sister. Because at one time also, I understand that my sister took her to court uh, on some money she was owing trust bank. I cannot see it. I cannot, I cannot figure it out. Why should he mention my name? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I have um, a few. Mr. Samba, do you remember how many phone calls you received from the ex-president on a daily basis, roughly? 
No. Like I, like I said earlier on, you know, it was like sometimes he will call me, let's say about two or three times in the day. Sometimes he will call me continuously every day for maybe one week. Then he will keep silent for almost four or five weeks. And during that period, really, I must tell you, I must confess today, I used to feel very nervous. Because if somebody is calling you every day, and all of a sudden he stops calling you, I will start thinking, maybe he's coming to arrest me. Have I done something wrong to him? All these things will start coming into my mind. It was like a torture. So you welcome the calls? You were Obviously, more comfortable? Yeah, if president calls you, I mean, I cannot ignore his calls. You are talking about the number one citizen in this country. And, and not only that, mm -hmm. a dictator for that matter. Okay. And on average, yeah, most of the discussion centered around personal so or business stuff? No, social. Social issues. Social. Like, uh, you know, like uh, he is very much into current affairs, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, you know, like when he's watching something on the news, like breaking news, he will call me. On certain occasions, of course, like he used to treat me like a big brother. Okay. In some instances, I tell him the truth if he invites me. If he doesn't invite me, I don't interfere. Because there was one occasion, in fact, two incidences, where the Senegalese, the Gambia Senegal border was closed. I, then, I think then he was in Saudi Arabia. He called me. When he called me, he said, how now? I said, it's not good. He said, why? I said, the, everything is at a standstill. I think you should be more mature. I mean, although Abla Iwada is, is older than you, but you should be more mature than him. You should take the bull by the horn because your people are suffering and his people are suffering. Then he said, you are right. I'll call him. He called Abla Iwada to inform him that he's coming to Senegal. And he went to Senegal, and under 48 hours, the border was open. I was playing that kind of role once in a while. Advisory. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't say advisor. If he seeks it from me, if he asks me my opinion. Yeah, that's fine. I'll give him. Okay. Now, on a monthly basis, how many times did you go to state house? I was not going to state house very often. And any time you went, did you have to clear security? Pardon? Oh. Any time you entered State House, did you have to clear security or it was cleared before your arrival? No, I, I, I called the chief of protocol. So you, were, you so were welcome at the gate? No, to tell him that I'm coming. That is provided he wants to see me. I don't just go and hang yeah. around the State House. I, you I go mean, on invitation? On invitation. Do you have to clear security? Going oh, yes. The I, I, I used to. Mm -hmm. I used to go through security. But really, I, my relationship with Yaya Jamil was more of phone calls than meeting him in person. Mm -hmm. I hardly met him. And when I met him, it's normally where, where they have a function at the state house, or sometimes he calls me and I, and I go to his office. But it was not very often. Apart from the functions where everybody is, did you ever share a meal, visit the president at home, or he visited you at home? No. Unless no, no such when he has his bad day. Sorry? When he has his bad day. That's public. I'm saying yes. privately. No, I'm Did talking the president about, ever visit No, I'm talking you? about private because some of his bad days, he had dinners in his house. And I was one of the special guests. Yeah, but that's in public. In public? No, it was not in public. Sometimes. So during he, his birthdays, he invited everybody. Sometimes his bad day. Yes. You know, on few occasions, he invited me plus other people. Okay. So that's not you and him. What I'm asking is, yes. did he visit your house for dinner never. as a friend? And did you ever visit him as never. a friend? Never. Yaya Jame has never visited my house. Thank you. Uh, one last question. Where you live in Atlantic Road, do you rent it? Do you lease it or do you own it? I own it 100%. Prior to 1994? It was just after 1994. Actually, what happened was, immediately after the coup, 
a lot of people were running away from this country. Some Lebanese guy owned it before, and they decided to go back to Lebanon. In fact, they found it very difficult to sell the property them. The property was stranded. Because every businessman you go to, they will say the country is not stable. I'm not going to invest. I took the risk. At that point in time, nobody wanted to buy a property. Then I took the risk. In fact, I made the payment through Standard Chartered Bank. I fully remember uh, I had to uh, do, it was a foreign currency transaction. It was on a Sunday that uh, the, this guy came from Lebanon. He couldn't find a buyer. Then I took the opportunity as a businessman. I know that when situations are like that, that's the best time to buy. And that's when I bought my property. Thank I you. bought it then for uh, almost close to $475,000. Thank you. That's all. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Samba, in relation to the list of properties which you provided, um, some of the title deeds of which we have, which we already had, um, I have observed that um, you endorsed some of the transactions as solicitor. Yes, I did. Yes. Under what circumstances would you act as um, the ex-president solicitor in this transaction? Um, I think it was on one or two occasions where I am a lawyer by profession and I can... Yes, we just want to understand I because you endorse... mentioned two lawyers who normally act by for him. him. You had mentioned two people who normally act for him, Ms. Yes. Aida Drame and Mr. Saluta. Yes, yes. Yes, but we find that you also endorse some of the transactions. That's, yes. So I'm just giving this. you the opportunity to explain the no, circumstances. No, I did this for him because he requested me to, to prepare it for him. Okay. Like I said, when the president gives you orders, you cannot deviate. So I, I managed to because after a very long time, I've not prepared a document, but I managed to uh, use some kind of precedence to, to prepare the document, and I backed it. So it's not that there were certain special transactions where he would say, you no, act no, for no, me. No, 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 there no, not nothing, at all. There was nothing special about not this Not at all. There was nothing special, because things like the feature elect property, that was, uh, that was a very expensive property. So really, it was not the case. He asked me, Amadou, can you prepare it? I said, okay, no problem. Um, the future leg transaction seems to be a sheriff sale. Pardon? But this, the future leg transaction seems to be a sheriff sale. It was, but a, one sheriff. Of, one of it the was a sheriff sale. Yeah, one of the transactions you prepared was um, for Sadauda. Sadauda, yeah, yes, so, the late president. Sa, yeah. Sorry, the, so, the former president. Yes. So there was no special reason. All right. No, 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 no special reason. Okay. Actually, I have been um, in between the two of them. Uh, like I said, uh, between him the, and the former president, I have played a great role in bringing them together. In fact, I went up to the extent of going to England to bring the former president back to the Gambia, and I am the one that took him to his office. So I heard that, you know, whenever he, will, he has a message for the former president, he will tell me, then I will relate to the former president, and it used to go be like something like back and forth. I was the middle, I was in, the, in between them. Okay, um, um, thank you. Just one last question on the list. Um, when you say negotiated, um, you didn't say that you are acting as a middleman. Yes. But it's correct that in that role, you are representing the president's interest. But I was? Representing the president's interest. When you were negotiating to purchase land, and you said you acted as a middleman. No, I wouldn't say I was representing the president's interest. Like, during the course of my evidence, I said that when he has an offer, he will tell me, then the, there will be a, a counter offer, then this thing will be going back and forth. So really, there's nothing like me protecting his interest. It's, I'm just like in the middle. He will tell me this price, then I will relay to the other party, the vendor, then the vendor will make a counter. You know, it was going back and forth. I mean, if I want to protect his interest, it's like a different role altogether. My, the word I used was representing. Because even when one, the word I used was representing. 
whose interests were you representing when you acted as a middleman to negotiate these properties that you said you negotiated? I wouldn't call it interest representation. Actually, I was, you know, like he, he will tell me, Amadou, I, you know, the president cannot negotiate with individuals, like I said. If he receives an offer, even sometimes people write to him and you, offer him. You said so. Pardon? You said so, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he will tell me, Amadou, can you contact this guy? Then I'll contact the guy, and he will say, he will say okay, I don't agree with this price. You tell him uh, this is what I can offer. And it, it was like that. Hmm. All right. Let's move on to another topic. Um, Excel, I think you were on note. Excel Construction Limited. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, uh, evidence that has been led in this commission shows that... Um, monies were paid from various accounts to Excel Construction Company Limited. Um, the accounts include the sand mining account, number 11010004139, um, the Kanaji mining account, and um, the heavy minerals account. Um, so far, these are the accounts that are involved. When we check Excel, Excel Construction, you seem to have a connection with this company. What is I your connection? I own 40% shares in the company. You own 40% shares? Yes, ma'am. Do you have the memorandum and articles? I do. Yes, um, if you have it, would you, I have it would you produce it? Thank you. What was the... Okay, let's have the memorandum and articles first. What does this company do? Mainly construction. That's the memorandum okay. and articles. You own 40%. Who are the other shareholders? The, share, the other shareholder is uh, Patrick. Patrick. Patrick, uh, Patrick Riketty. This is. Uh, Can you spell the Riketty, please? Um, R I C C H E T T I. Is the eldest son of the Riketty family. They are a well known construction company in Senegal. They build most of the. Uh, big structures in Senegal like uh, the, uh, the uh, pre Meridian Presidents is now called, I don't know, he built the, uh, they used to own the Independence Hotel, they built Taranga Hotel, they built their trade fair center. So they have been in construction for many years in Senegal. That's Patrick Riketty. He's the eldest son of the old man. Let's have the exhibit. What percentage does he own? Patrick owns 30%. Okay. And who's the other 30%? My son, Kaba Samba. Okay. So your son and yourself own together 70%? We do. Okay. Who's the managing director? The managing director, I think, was Flau. Flau is the engineer. Is the company in operation? Pardon? Is the company in operation now? Is it in operation, the company? Yes, I would call it that. It's in operation. I'm going to show you um, exhibit CB7, and um, it has other payments, but um, I'm 
I've just bent it um, to the pages that concern Excel. Sorry, that's the business registration certificate. Very well. Can we have the business yes. registration as well? You don't have the incorporation certificate. Don't have the certificate of incorporation. Oh, well, I gave you the memorandum, but I will try and look for it. Exactly. I'll submit it. Okay. I think I've given it to the investigators. Very well. We will we'll retrieve it. Um, I'm going to show you CB7, which is one transaction from the Kanaji Mining account, and um, CB yes, and. Um, yeah, CB7. It's all CB7. And there are three other transactions from the sand mining account. Um, what are these payments for? Did you, did Construct, um, Excel Construction receive these payments? Yes. What, what were these payments it for? It was for the construction of the state house fence. Can I give the background? Sure, yeah. That's why you're here. Yes, ma. Um, what happened was the president after the aftermath of uh, the thirty first December attack by some dissidents, the president requested invited Flau to come to the state house in the sense that Flau was the one that built the fence earlier on, you know, during the transition. It was Gamsen Construction that built the, uh, the fence at the State House. So, Which company? Gamsen Construction. That was my company. That was during the transition. He, Gamsen. Gamsen Construction. G-A-M-S-E-N. Yes, G-A-M-S-E-N. So he requested us at that time to build a high wall fence at the state house because maybe he thought that uh, we have the capability in the sense that you know the uh, the banjul especially around the beach area is a very difficult area to construct a fence you need special skills you need special uh, type of cement and all the rest of it you know i mean uh, especially when it comes to sea defense you have to uh, use special type of cement for because Banjul, the, the water table in Banjul is very low. So uh, he assigned it to Gamsen at that time and we did a good job of it. So after this incident, you know, when they attacked, when they attacked the state house, some of the fence was broken and he immediately requested Flau to come to the state house because as a matter of urgency, he had a meeting with Flau and uh, asked him to start the construction immediately. There and then they prepared a contract in uh, three phases and that uh, Flau should commence the work. He gave him an advance payment and they started the work. That's okay. how everything started. So it was a direct contract given by the president to the company? Yes, it was a direct contract, but for special reasons. Like, this, he said that the state house is, you know, security-wise, it's not everybody you invite into the state house to build a fence. So since Flower, he's a French guy, uh, built the fence, the original fence, he thought it was better for him to call the same Flower to continue the fence. He called Flower through you, or, or what? No, 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 no. He, How, has, he okay. has been dealing with Flower. He has been dealing Meaning with Flower has built other things for him? Oh, yes. He did a lot of job for him. Did he, did he do the job as, um, 
as Excel Construction no, Limited? No, 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 no. Originally, Flower was working for himself. When he left Gamson Construction, he had his own company. In fact, he has done a lot of work in this country. He's the one that did the civil works for this feature like building. He did the civil works. And he did several other structures. And he is, his specialty really is sea defense. Like okay. uh, when you have a house around the seaside, he, he does, uh, he, you know, he, he has that expertise. Like he will use certain type of materials like geotextile. Uh, they will do micropiling and all that. That's his area, mm -hmm. and he does a lot of, uh, you know, like uh, he builds precast buildings. Okay. Mr. Mr. Samba, you, do you have the contract? Was the contract signed? Yes, there was a contract. Do you have it? Yes. He signed it with flower. What was the contract value? Uh, the first one, I think, first one was 11 million. 766012. What do you mean by the first one? The first phase. Okay. It was in three phases. Then he, instead of asking Flower to do phase two, he asked him to do phase three. And the total payment for phase three, I have all the payments here. He paid about 75%. And phase three, what was the value of phase three? Phase three, I think, was 21 million total. 20? 21 million. Okay. Can we have the contracts if you have them? Uh, yeah, and I have the, the contract. Let and me and just the payments. explain. Can okay. I explain? Okay. Then, um, this contract was entered into by the government of the Gambia. And, yeah. you yes, know, that's, that's why we want to see. Yes, it. yes. Are you reading from the contract? No, I'm not reading from, I'm reading from my notes now. All right, then Just can we have... Just to give you a brief... But the contract is not in yet. You yeah, will the, have time to do that. The contract is here. Yes, Excel, let's have the contract. Gambia Thank Government you. to Excel Construction Company Limited. The reason why I wanted to dilute on this, dilate on this is the fact that yeah, you will have the opportunity, Mr. Samba, to dial it. Let's just admit it. And yes, then you can, you can then dial it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. This is for phase one, the contract. Yeah, it was for phase one. And... For phase three, two and three, I think they must have it at the president's office. All right. Um, can you give the can you give the date the date of the con? Oh, oh, all right. It's written there, no I date. think. All right. Um, can you, for the record, indicate because I can't find a date. If you, if there is a date. Indicated and the parties who signed on both sides. You mentioned flower. Can you give it back to the witness? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Do you have a, this, the contract for the third phase? Like I said, it's, it should be with the president's office. I mean, this contract... You, you don't have it here? No, I don't have it. Is that what you're saying? All right. I don't have it. I know that uh, when he finished the... When they finished the, the first phase, they asked them to, you know, carry on with the, tar, with with the, the third, third phase. phase. All right. And they've made some payments. They made some payments. Uh, they paid everything for the first phase. Then they... they, they when they went and... Uh, you know, they, 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 they went, uh, they achieved about 85% of the job, and they were only paid for 75%. So government is still owing them 2,180,000, which is due now, but it has not been paid. Okay, could you tell us that agreement, uh, what, what is the date, and who, the, who signed on both sides, as I said? Um, on, the, on behalf of government, I think it was signed by NUA. 
I'm not too sure, but Could I you think check the signature page? Yes. So that we have the, for the record, so we can apply to tender it. Oh, this is Isa to Oba. Noah to 363 to the Cabinet Office of the President, State House. He signed, and I think Isa to Oba signed as witness. And then Flower signed as the Managing Director. What is the date? Can you find the date of the agreement? If there is none, maybe it was overlooked. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll check our, the files to see whether we can find... Yes, I'm sure there. you can... Uh, is there a date? You can find out. It was April 2015. April but, 2015. But the agreement itself is not dated. It's not dated, no. But when you say April 2015, this is from your notes. Yeah, it's from my notes. It's right. April 2015. Let's have the document again. Is there any other document you'd like to have admitted in relation to Excel so we admit it as a bundle? Then you no, can No, like I said, uh, we submitted our last invoice. Our last invoice uh, was submitted. Do you have any in other invoices? Any yes, documents? Yes, we do have all the invoices here. Yes. We do have all the invoices. Our last invoice... Invoice number eight, I think the, uh, the consultant certified 85.10%. Sorry, who certified? 85%. Was certified by who? By Mr. Keta was the consultant. The consultant, okay. Yeah, Mr. Keta was the consultant. What's and his full name? Is his full name there? I cannot remember his full name, but it's something Keta. He was engaged by government. If you have any other documents that you would like yes, to have admitted... Have. Can I we do have, have them? And we, we submitted this invoice uh, that is to show that uh, we have 85.10% completion and we attached the invoice. It was a total sum of 2,188,645, but we have since not been paid and we stopped work. His name is Kao Suketa. Very well. Can we have all the documents yes, you want admitted in relation here, to this transaction? I have them. Although the, the request for payments were done by Flau, he signed the ones that went to the president's office. But for our office copies, it, you know, it was not signed. Okay, the documents you have are not signed? Yeah, but it, this, it was for the office. Mm -hmm. But the, one that went, uh, the ones that went to president's office were signed. These are your file copies? These are That's my file copies. That's what you're saying. All right, let's have them. Yes, please. Can we have the exhibits that I give at the same time? Give Mr. Samba. Thank you. So can you, what is the total paid? Uh, what is the total value of, of both faces? The amount paid and, and yes, the said what total value done. for phase one was eleven million seven sixty six thousand zero one two was paid completely. Then for first phase three, the total amount was twenty one million three hundred and twenty four two seventy sixteen million nine fifty five six two five paid, which represented seventy five percent of the job, and. Two million one hundred and eighty thousand uh, is due since we achieved eighty five percent of the job. When and did it, you, there when is did fifteen percent of the work to be completed. When did you stop work? We stopped work because I mean when we you know gave them our our uh, our how do you call it payment advice they they, they didn't pay. So the company couldn't sustain it. We decided to stop. When you, by them, who do you mean? Pardon? Yes, when, by them, when you gave them, by them, who do you mean? By them. You said when you gave them, your invoices. Yes. Yeah, by them, who do you mean? Oh, okay. Flower used to submit the uh, invoices to Noah Ture. So what is the total paid on phase three? Do you have the figure? It's very easy. I mean, uh, the...
first phase they paid seven uh, sorry eleven million seven seven sixty six zero one two plus sixteen million nine fifty five six two five so if we total that we will be able to get a day and there is an outstanding due of payment due of uh, two million one hundred and eighty thousand and you, you, you have you to have complete said so. the work you have an order one two million one eighty eight six four five yes you, you have said you have said so mr sam um mr chairman may i apply to have admitted a bundle of documents including the certificate of business registration the memorandum and article the certificate of business registration of excel construction limited the memorandum and articles of association an agreement undated yes, ma so, sorry ma i have one paper here i think this is certificate of incorporation okay Okay. Um, a certificate from the registrar certifying the incorporation of the document, the memorandum and articles, a uh, co contract undated said to be between the government of the Gambia and Excel Construction Limited. <coughs> and various letters regarding payment from the company addressed to the office of the president are unsigned but said to be filed copies of the company.
Mr. Samar, you see all these uh, letters. Um, none of them is signed. We simply say, see, sincerely, managing director, Excel Construction Limited. We would want you to sign, if you want these documents to go in, each and every one of them. Put your name after your signature. Yes, sir. As indicated here. All right. Yes, sir. Here. Yes. Not where managing director appears. Because no, I will just sign at the bottom, sir. Here. All right. And the date. Today's date.
Mr. Samuel, take a look at these two documents. Yeah. We'll deal with the agreement first. Yes. I, I see that agreement, which I have just returned to you, <coughs> is supposed to be signed by the lawyer stated there, as Ida D. Drama. But it is neither, either, neither signed nor dated. You'll see it in the front, I think. <clears throat> it tends to show that she prepared it. Yes, the I agreement. Think. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, wh why wasn't it signed? I think I saw somewhere where she backed it. Maybe it's not here, but she backed it definitely. That's how, how I came to know that it was a that it. Yes, well, you will have to give us the document that is backed by Ida Drama. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. I remember, I remember coming across uh, Ida Drama's name. So she must have, okay, it's backed here, but it's not signed. That's what I'm saying. Yes, you are right. It's not, it's not been signed. You are right. Likewise, the memorandum and articles of association. I do not see any signature. Signature of the, of, of the lawyer who is supposed to have presented, to have, pre to have prepared it. You are right, sir. We will try and uh, very well. We so will you, try retain, and get you, the, you will retain them. Yes, sir. We will try and get you the proper documents. Very well. Honourable Chairperson, can we have it? Um, can we tender it and make an undertaking to see what happens? Okay. The documentation here is vast. We can't go, Maybe the other side go the way. If he can find it, let him bring it. We'll yeah, but a, we'll do a notice to the other party as well. The Gambia government. The Gambia government should should have it. Hmm. I think maybe Nua Ture should have it.
copy certificate of incorporation of Excel Construction Limited, dated 1st October 2015, <coughs> admitted Mark MS105A. Copy certificate of business registration of Excel Construction Limited, dated 1st October 2015. Admitted, Mark MS105B. Bundle of copy letters from Excel Construction Limited to the Office of the President for the period 3rd June 2015 to 10th December 2016, re-request for advance payment for construction of the new wall at State House in a bundle, admitted Mark MS-105C. Mr. Samba, yes. one question. You put money to support the party of the ex-president. From what we have seen from the beginning of the commission to date, most of the spending was for ex-president Jame. We have rarely seen anything for the Gambian people. For the Gambian people? Yes. Yeah. Most of the spending. Maybe there's an ex exception, a bridge here or there. But for the most part, most of the spending, the ex-president was central to it. It was something to benefit him. The question I'd like to ask you is, do you know of any major project that removed the ex-president and put the Gambian people center stage? Of course. Yes, please help us with that. I've done a lot for people. Just one major, Pardon? in the interest of time, one major project. I'm supporting uh, some, uh, there is this data I have been supporting for the past 20 something years. There is a standing order. No, it's not you. I'm talking about the president. Yes. Yes. Any project where he removed the gut himself and put the Gambian people center stage. You supported the party. That's clear. What I'm saying, yes. from what we have seen, all these millions were channeled towards things that put Yaya Jame or ex-president Jame center stage and the Gambian people aside. Now I want the reversal. Any project that you know where he removed himself and put Gambian people center stage in the spending of the millions? No, the thing is, if you know Yaya Jame very well, he is very selfish. Everything he does is him. Samba, why did you support a party whose leader is selfish? That's my constitutional right, like I said. I mean, I'm not to be judged by that. Thank you. I mean, I'm a Gambian. I can support any party of my choice. I said it. It's just contradictory. Yes. But, but thank the, you. The, no, the only thing is, you know, I mean, he was embarking on a lot of uh, projects, uh, which really he did very well in those projects, like the airport. He, 
he built a new airport, ultra modern airport for the for the country. He built a lot of roads. He did a lot of projects. Let's give the devil his due. It's not everything that he did was bad. He did a lot of projects. I mean, a lot of people enjoyed in the sense that, I mean, he was feeding people, he was sending people to Mecca, although, I mean, you don't know where he got the funds from, but really, he did a lot of infrastructural projects. Thank you. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. And the people are benefiting from that. Fair enough. Well, we rise now, and we'll be back at half past two. Thank you. Um, oh, sorry.